Next question is from He Hannes. What are your thoughts on saunas? Love, love, love them. Love them. Saunas, you know, there was a study, there was actually several studies that showed that regular sauna use reduced all-cause mortality by a significant percentage. It was like 20% or 25%. It was something like that. Like all-cause mortality just from using a sauna. Something that we don't consider is, you know, obviously your body adapts to your environment. For example, if you're very sedentary, <clears throat> You, li you never lift anything heavy. You're going to lose lots of muscle, lots of strength because your body, you're not exercising those muscles in a way that, tell, that tells your body, we need this muscle. Okay. Your body's ability to acclimate to temperature, cold and hot, is like a muscle. And if you don't train it, you actually lose this ability because humans, for most of human history, we evolved with radical changes in temperature just in a single day. Like the more it would be hot during the day, cold in the morning, cold at yeah. night. You were forced to adapt to it. Yeah. Now it's like it's always seventy degrees. Always seventy degrees. Am I in my house? No matter what, doesn't matter how hot or yeah, cold it is. Car, everything's regulated. It's always the same, and we lose this ability. And because we've lost that ability, it, we actually have health detriments as a result. So sauna, just like with cold therapy. It's like exercising the body. In fact, you can compare using a sauna to the effects of mild exercise. Actually, we'll show that a 20-minute session of sauna is like doing- Well, I remember Max Schmarzo kind of bringing that up as an example, is that it's basically like a very low form of exercise yes. uh, you, that your body's sort of uh, responding to, and it's heating up the core temperature. And then, and, and of course, Dr. Rhonda Patrick talks about this all the time yeah. in terms of heat shock proteins, and then you know the cold therapies, the cold mm -hmm. shock proteins. But uh, so there's lots of benefits to it uh, physiologically that uh, you know we we benefit from. I I st uh, still attribute this as of all the things we've talked about and experimented with and 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 brought to this podcast over the last six years. Um, and if you go back far enough, you've you've heard me talk about my experience going through the whole hot cold contrast. Mm -hmm. I never trained like this before, and I don't remember. I think it was right when Wim Hof was getting really popular. Mm -hmm. We were all interested in his content, and reading, yeah. and listening to his information. And, uh, and I actually went and decided to apply it. Uh, and I was messing with cryotherapy, ice baths, and then the, the sauna and doing this hot, cold contrast. I was doing it in my showers since then. And I've, and I'm, I'm not as consistent as I'd like to be like today, just being completely transparent. Right. Um, although I still do this, I never let like months go by without challenging this where before I went my whole life. Mm -hmm. Like I never, I never before the podcast in my twenties or whatever, intentionally went to a sauna and then a freezing cold. I lunch. used to make fun of it. Yeah, when was, people would ask me, "What's the benefit of the sauna?" Nothing. You just sweat. Don't waste your time. Never did any of that. Uh -huh. yeah. Since then, I I have gone on a streak. Okay, of of how little I get sick. It not only do I rarely ever get sick anymore. If I do get sick, it's short lived. It's not as bad. I used to get sick all the time. And if you guys remember, even when we first started the podcast, I was before yep. I started doing this. After that, it's never been the same for me. So uh, personally, I'm a massive fan of it. Well, they I show use it. it the most. They actually have studies on that. They show people who use saunas regularly uh, suffer from common viral infections like the cold at far lower rates. Mm -hmm. So it's it's got, I mean, proven immune boosting benefits. I, I mean, I'll tell you what, if you had space in your home and you wanted to invest in a few things that would have the biggest bang for the buck that invested in terms of your health, you would have... A barbell, dumbbells, adjustable bench, and a sauna. Yeah. Literally. And that sauna having red light therapy uh, attached to yes. it would be the most ideal. Yeah, yeah, right. Or throw your juve light inside. Yeah, exactly. Throw your juve light inside. Yeah, some form of it. 